Hello everyone and welcome back to the Washington Commanders franchise here on Madden 23. Thank you guys all so much for the support and last week's episode. It is greatly appreciated. But let's get right into some roster news. Joshua Kelly going to be brought up from the practice squad because half pad practice this week, we lost both JD McKissick and B-Rob to back tightness. Jared Goff last week in a loss to the Philadelphia Eagles to start the season. 304 yards, two touchdowns, two interceptions. But that's not really what we have to worry about here today. That's going to be Donta Hightower. Signed this offseason, an interception and nine tackles. He is definitely here to shore up that Lions front seven. And with the loss of our running backs, we're going to see exactly what we're going to be able to do on the ground here today. Washington quarterback Carson Wentz obviously a lot of people already calling for his job just one week into the NFL season Jared Goff Carson Wentz numbers eerily similar last week but let's get things started here in Ford Field week two action is underway and Jefferson gonna kneel this one in the end zone for a touchback so here we go Jared Goff leading out the Detroit Lions here in week number two, we're going to get things started from the 25. Handoff goes to Swift. He has plenty of room to run. Makes one man miss, but look at Cole Holcomb coming all the way down from the line of scrimmage to make the stop at the 48. We're going to go now second and four, and that's going to be a nice stop there. After Payne does the same thing, making it third and four here at the 48-yard line. See what this defense can do and hit as he throws this is going to be incomplete as the safeties get in there and knock the ball loose Carson Wentz what can he do here to get the season rolling in the right direction a tough loss for the commanders last week and uh, he really gave up a pick six last week and it was not an ideal situation for the commanders unable to bring that one home and he starts off going over the middle and will start the game off 0 and 1. Second and 10 is going to be a handoff to Gibson and he runs the left side for a nice gain of nine yards. Going to pick this one up third and one. Can he get the first down and Gibson powers through two rushes for 15 yards to start the day for the running back. Second and nine here with nine minutes left here in the first. Throw is going to be to Terry McLaurin for a first down. We're not going to stop there. We're going to see what else we can do here at the 39. Carson Wentz finds the middle of the field and Terry McLaurin wide open. If Detroit is going to keep giving us that, why not just keep hitting Scary Terry in the middle of the field. First and 10 from the 43. And that's going to be thrown across and caught for another first down continuing to move the ball down the field a little sidearm action and that's going to be complete to Terry McLaurin as we take a look five receptions 70 yards and two touchdowns for him last week in the loss second and six from the 27 yard line and down goes Carson Wentz a nice coverage sack this front seven can definitely get pressure on the quarterback. That leads to a third and 14, and that's going to be caught, but shy of the first down by Terry McLaurin. So points to go on the board? No. The commanders are going to go for it from the 23, fourth and two, and that's going to be caught by Terry McLaurin. And all I can say is look at this clean pocket and a perfect shot in the window. A tiny opening there between the safety and the corner covering and Wentz is able to hit it and keep this drive alive second and 11 now as Wentz throws caught touchdown for the commanders here in the opening drive for Washington Logan Thomas he was so huge last week and here he comes across with a big touchdown we do have a dislocated shoulder injury for our right guard. That is not good. Our offensive line is probably one of the weaker aspects of our offense. It's, here we go. Goff now. He's going to start seeing if he can bring the Lions down the field and answer the first quarter touchdown by the Commanders from the 46. Handoff going to go to Swift again. He has room to run. He made a move and really didn't have to. Could have had more green grass ahead of him. 
but that will set up a second and five. They're going to hand off again, and this time not going to happen. That'll be a third and six now, and we are ready for the run. Holcomb again coming up big in third down situations. Second quarter now, under nine minutes to play, and this is going to be picked off. And going the other way, a pick six for the Detroit Lions. Unreal. He gave Carson Wentz the John Cena, you can't see me. Playing the hard flat, and he just gets his hand in the throwing zone. You see it there off the back of his left hand. Somehow able to take that one to the house. 7-7 seven, seven tie game. See what Carson Wentz can do, and he takes too long, doesn't step up in the pocket, and that is definitely something he has to work on this season. Third and 21, and it's a fumble. This is down to the one-yard line. Unbelievable. They're going to mark him down at the two, so a pick six and then a fumble inside the two. That leads to great field position for the Lions, and Jared Goff going to continue to see what he can do driving this team down the field for another first down. He is deciding to just pick this defense apart. You look at our secondary, and it's really Kendall Fuller and Will Jackson, everyone else statistically not as strong in man or zone coverage, and even a quarterback like Jared Goff is starting to pick us apart here. Third and one from the 27. And that's a wide open middle of the field. Carson Wentz is doing it. And Jared Goff says, hold my protein shake. I can do this too. Another first down on a short field here. Second and nine from the 10 yard line. And Jared Goff is going to go inside the 10 down to the five for a third and four now. Under four minutes to play here in the first half of football. Clean pocket throw to the right is going to be caught for a touchdown. And the Detroit Lions now score offensively. TJ Hawkinson with the score perfectly placed his feet there. And so Carson Wentz, a pick six and then a fumble. He is not doing the haters anything but giving them more fuel to call for his job here from the 18 yard line under three minutes to play can we put something together to get us back in this game Carson Wentz then he's gonna find his favorite target and that is Logan Thomas down the sideline out at about the 45 yard line under two minutes to play gonna put this one down and that is gonna be caught for a first down Carson Wentz finds T.J. McLaurin a huge play second and 10 now from the 25 and this is going to be almost caught and so close to being inside the five yard line unbelievable just misses his man after dropping an absolute dime to scary Terry that brings up a third and 10 from the 25 and it's another coverage sack for the Detroit Lions those ends are getting free unable to step up in the pocket and that makes it a 10 to 14 game here with under a minute to play second and 10 the Lions golf is going to be flushed from the pocket and has to get rid of this one third and 10 now from the 24 yard line 55 seconds left to play and they're just going to hand this one off to Swift and that is going nowhere as we have really stopped the running game here for Detroit. Only eight rushing plays for 30 yards for the Lions. Let's go ahead and take a look around the league here in the halftime show. And we're going to take a look at the New York Giants. Sam Darnold was picked up right before the start of the season from the Carolina Panthers. And Baker Mayfield showing why he was the correct pick for starting quarterback but let's get things underway here in the second half as the commanders will have an opportunity to answer and get back in rhythm Carson Wentz gonna throw this one and that's gonna be caught by Samuel Curtis on the shoelaces but not enough for a first down third and five just trying to get this offense going and Carson Wentz fires out to the left side and misses his man and we are forced to punt 
here from the 34-yard line. Another handoff for Swift, and now he got some room. A nice nine-yard run for the Lions from the 43. They're going to hand it to him again, and that's enough for a first down for Swift. 43 yards on 11 rushes here so far from the 47 first and 10 throw is going to be to Hawkinson and that is going to be knocked away good play there by the secondary from the 47 second and 10 and Carson Wentz is going to have to sit there and watch as Jared Goff is trying to lead his team back down the field from a third and three all the way to the 34 yard line Jared Goff is absolutely methodically tearing up this secondary as he throws this one out to the left and that's going to be swift again enough for a first down up over 100 yards now for Jared Goff here we go from the 23 first and 10 pocket starting to break down hit as he throws and that's going to be an incomplete pass finally some pressure only sending about four guys on that defensive front trying to keep everybody back in zone and man coverage trying to at least get a hand on the ball third and nine clean pocket going to be dumped down to swift and that is not going to be enough for a first down only to the 14 fourth and one but the lions say you know what let's go ahead and go for it here inside the 15 yard line and that's going to be hit guess who cole holcomb again with a huge play here in this game unbelievable super excited to see how he turns out in year number three already from the 19 it's going to be a handoff to gibson up for a gain of about three yards sets up second and seven from the 22 the pass is going to go across the middle to jahan dotson down to the 30 yard line a first down for the commanders Carson Wentz now maybe gonna make a play here has a fairly clean pocket this get out to Bates and Bates trying to fight for extra yards and the ball is out that is a loose ball fumble scoop and score for the Detroit Lions and Alex Anzalone Thor from Florida is gonna put that one in the end zone takes it to the house if we take another look at this and it's kind of hard to uh, to get after Bates there he's just battling for some extra yards but the flat was covered and now it is 21 to 10 Detroit here second and four this is gonna go across the middle over to Samuel down to the 39 yard line so Behind the eight ball on turnovers here are the commanders trying to battle back. And that's not going to be a good start as we get sacked again. And Davis there, two and a half sacks on the day for him. Sets up a second and 17. And then the pass down the left sideline to Jahan Dotson is an absolute dime. That's about the third one that Carson Wentz has thrown today. He just needs a little bit of time. Now he's going to drop this one off to Gibson, who battles forward for a first down. Getting just a little bit of time here from the offensive line, finding the open man and trying to negate some of the problems we've had. But Gibson is going to find some room here down to the 25-yard line. Looked like it was a gain of 10, but they're going to mark him short. No, it was a gain. Down to the 22, first and 10 handoff goes one more time to Gibson up the middle. And he finds that open area in the secondary getting through that front seven for a first and goal here from the sixth yard line as time here in the third is set to expire. Clean pocket, doesn't need a step up, but the throw is across to Jahan Dotson for a touchdown and the Washington Commanders find the end zone here again for the second time. And now, instead of going for the one-point conversion, they go for the two-point conversion, and they get it. And it is now just a three-point game. 18-21 to 21 here at the start of the fourth quarter. Jared Goff and Swift is trying to run the clock out here, and he gets big room through from the 25 all the way down to about the 42-yard line. That sets up a first and 10, just trying to kill this clock as much as possible. And that's going to be Davis on the stop. Sets up a second and three out to the flat, and that is going to be caught by Reynolds. He has been the hot target for Jared Goff all afternoon from the 47-yard line. Time is ticking down. 
Goff goes deep down the left side, and that is going to be incomplete. And that was a great play by Will Jackson. The third set up second and ten. A little screen action here to Swift. This is going to be down from the 47 over to about the 40-yard line. Gain of seven on that play. Sets up a third and two. And that's going to be the tight end one more time for Jared Goff setting up a first and 10 from the 34-yard line. Just trying to kill this clock as much as possible. The handoff goes to Swift. He has stood up and dropped for a loss of one, setting up a third and 11 now for the Lions trying to make something happen. The pocket is collapsing, and he throws late, and it's going to be intercepted by Kendall Fuller. He's taking this one the other way, and that is a huge stop to what could have been a ceiling drive for the Lions, but instead Jared Goff throws the interception and gives Fuller his first pick on the season. A huge defensive play here for the Commanders. Sets up the offense at the 49-yard line. The handoff is going to go to Gibson. He has some room. Could have had maybe more if we had a little bit more of a block there, but that will set up a second and five. Handoff goes to Gibson one more time as time now is going under six minutes by the snap of this football. Third and three, it's going to be play action. Carson Wentz has nowhere to go. He throws this one away. That sets up a fourth and three, but they bring out the field goal unit. 60-yard try to tie this game, and it's good from 60 yards out, and the Washington Commanders have now tied this game, coming back against all odds here so far. So many defensive turnovers for the Lions fumbles by the commander's offense but this game is far from over 21 21 here in the fourth 520 left to play and Jared Goff is going to go underneath to guess who Reynolds one more time and that is going to be a big time first down to the 46 yard line commanders got to really get some tight defense this is where they kind of fell apart Last week, and that's going to be thrown off a back foot by Jared Goff. Sets up second and 10. Hopefully this defense can stay nice and tight, but the throw is down the right sideline. One-on-one, -on -one, and Swift is unable to come up with the catch from the 46. Third and 10 now. Jared Goff throws, and he throws this one away. Jared Goff choking here in the fourth from the 46-yard line, and that sets up a punt and they actually are going to send their defense out, and what a special teams play by the Lions down to the seven-yard line. The Commanders want to win this game. They're going to have to put together one heck of a drive, and Carson Wentz again, the fourth dime he has thrown here today, and this is a huge one here in the fourth quarter. First and 10 from the 36-yard line, and here we go one more time, a handoff. Goes to Gibson up the middle. We've been getting decent running yardage against this front seven. Really was not expecting that. And the handoff goes to Gibson one more time on third and one. He has been the workhorse and he is definitely earning his paycheck here today with a short bench high snap. Handoff goes back to Gibson on first and 10. And he gains about three yards on that run from the 44 second and seven trying to find a hole spins and does that brings this down to a third and three under a minute to play we've got to make something happen here and Gibson trying to get the first down and he does just that and a timeout called by the Detroit Lions here as we are within field goal range now I mean anything within 60 is field goal range but we're going to continue to run the ball here in the fourth quarter. Now from the 21, about 33 seconds. And Gibson stays fighting, putting this ball right in the middle of the hash marks. A 31-yard field goal. But the timeout coming in from the Detroit Lions with just three seconds left on the clock. So here we go, 31 yard field goal attempt to win it all. Can we do it? The kick is up and it is good. And the Washington Commanders have come back from their own mistakes in this one to defeat the Detroit Lions. I don't think 
this is exactly how Washington saw this game going. Carson Wentz gave up a pick six for the second week in a row. There was the fumbles from both the tight end, the dropped passes as well. But Carson Wentz fin finishes this game with a QBR of 99.8. He goes 21 of 31 for 247 yards, two touchdowns, one interception, and Antonio Gibson finishes the day with 23 attempts, 113 yards, no fumbles. That is the big concern when he is out there, obviously, and he has not done anything to uh, raise that concern anymore. Logan Thomas did go down uh, at the very end of this game. It was, I believe, uh, a strain of some sort, but he was the hot target, 82 yards, six receptions. Terry McLaurin, obviously, was a hot target, six receptions, 84 yards for him. Uh, Jahan Dotson, he gets three receptions for 35 yards and another touchdown to add to his rookie campaign and Curtis Samuel there as well. Defensively today, I cannot say enough without this defense. I don't know if we would have been in this game as much as we were. The offense continued to give up the ball, but Davis was there. Cole Holcomb, eight total tackles and three tackles for a loss. He had the sack as well. Kendall Fuller coming up with a huge interception to freeze out Jared Goff and the Lions there at the end of the game. And as we get back to Washington, we get off the plane from Detroit. We got some player upgrades here. Carson Wentz, he has a player upgrade point as well. And I'm not really sure spending this point on scrambler ability at this point in his career is going to be the best option for him i really think kind of going the strong arm or field general route would be more realistic i just don't see how often carson wentz really needs to be running at this age with his injury history so we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the safe thing we're just going to drop these here into a strong arm the morale is minus one, not really helping Carson at this point. He really needs as much help as he can get. Like I said, a lot of people calling for Carson Wentz's job in the comments section. Jahan Dotson, what are we going to do with him? I think when I look at Jahan Dotson and I look at a, a lot of the highlights coming from Penn State, is he a deep threat? Is he a playmaker? Is he slot? I think he's really all three of those things. But I really want to see what we can do with Jahan Dotson, maybe as more of a deep threat in this offense. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop the skill point into deep threat up to a 74 there. He gets, I mean, awareness. He gets a whole bunch of skill points and obviously hidden development as well. So a lot of these things uh, as far as skill points could be jumping up here pretty soon. Now, sometime during the craziness that was the fourth quarter, we did lose Sam Cosme, and I didn't really think anything of it because it showed him on the bench with his helmet off, so I assumed it wasn't a major injury, but we just lost him for five weeks. And this offensive line is not super talented, so it's not super deep. Tom Brady, though, super talented at his age, 733 passing yards on the season the best passer in all of football right now but look at this Jalen Hurts is number two 697 yards on the season five touchdowns two interceptions 65 percent completion percentage we've got to deal with that next week the Jalen Hurts redemption arc begins a lot of people were questioning if Jalen was going to be the guy a lot of the Philly faithful have put a lot of trust into him and it looks like this year it's starting to pan out for the eagles taking a look at our training we got sam Howell, dotson they're all getting focused but we have the number two defense in all of football right now and that detroit game really solidified the fact that this defense is the star of the commanders so far this season it's only week two and we've got a lot of games ahead of us and if you look we have week three against the eagles at home week four we're going to dallas and week five we got the tennessee titans at home so it's not going to be an easy three game stretch i really hope we can at least go one and three over these next three games lead us into week six against the chicago bears 
but we'll see what happens. Going forward, guys, I do want to check out uh, some of the mock drafts and the scouting college player stuff, but I'm going to hold off until week 10, and then we will start diving into that. We might be doing some stuff over on the community tab. If you are new to the channel, I normally try to use the community tab as some additional content. So go over there and start checking out what we're putting um, on the community tab. I'll probably start dropping some cool draft stuff some stories and just trying to give the generic players um, that are auto generated a little bit of a backstory and so we can maybe start to see how these guys are going to be coming into the league just another layer of realism here on the channel that i am trying to work into this madden franchise anyway guys that's going to do it for today's video we have a huge week three the eagles coming to washington FedEx Field, 1 o'clock. That is going to be the next episode here on the channel. Thank you guys all so much for the support on the last two episodes. I greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to hit this video with a thumbs up if you are enjoying the content. Don't forget to subscribe for some more Madden 23 franchise content here on the channel. Thank you guys all so much for watching. And as always, I'll catch you guys later.